The talented Orlando Magic versus the savvy Los Angeles Lakers. It's Wednesday Night Basketball here on 2K Sports. It's interconference NBA basketball as the Magic are back on the road. It's late. Now let's check out the T-Mobile starting lineups. Take a moment to check out the Sprite ice cold keys to the game. Clark, looking at the Magic, what do they need to do to secure a win? Well, Kevin, they've got to make sure they find the open man. Last season, this team was one of the worst in compiling the six. Relied an awful lot on taking people off the dribble and doing one on one isolation stuff in their offense. They need to share the ball a little more and get some opportunities with the pass instead of everything off the dribble. On the other side, Clark, how about the Lakers? What do they need to do to secure a win? Well, they're facing Dwight Howard, and they have to zero in on him. He's a tremendous shot blocker, leading the league in block shots last season. So you can't get caught napping on offense. He's a commanding presence around the rim. Al Carter. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. And the Lakers have possession. Kobe. Yes, from downtown. There's no better finisher in the NBA than Kobe Bryant. When he's got you down, he wants to keep you down and step on it. Stolen by Fisher. From short range. Finishes with the soft touch. Derek Fisher, solid in every regard. On and off the court. Yeah, really classic. Very classic. Champion. Off the court, on the court, and a great team player. And a leader. Watch the respect he gets from his teammates and the way he produces and handles himself. He's the epitome of what you want to see in a pro basketball. Kept alive to Kobe. Carries the corner jumper. He's got five. An offense here with the Magic. It's a five-point game. Here's Carter. Can't put an end to the run. Orlando on D. Here's Bryant. Pockets the three ball. Kick it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Carter answers right back with a three of his own. He's not going to let anyone get the best of him. He'll trade get threes up. with you all game. Get Here's Bryant. Oh! Anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfect. Al Carter. He's got five. Here's Nelson. Can't hit the three point. So it's the Lakers now. They lead by seven. And Bryant gets it to go. Kobe Bryant. There's a lot of meat on Kobe's game, and ironically, his name refers to a stake. He was named after a stake. And that young man has meat on his game for days. The Magic maintain possession. Al Carter. Carter. Now Nelson. Lewis. Drains it from downtown. Here's Fisher. Seven point differential. Here's Odom. Drains the easy jump. Way to distribute the basketball. Now Nelson. 2 11 left in the first. Here's Gortat. Hits the front rim and in. Here's Fisher. Our test rips it down with one hand. He's getting the highlight real play of the day. Wait a minute. Make that weak. Hey, make it the year. Now that was a dunk. Here's Nelson. Makes the long distance connection. The Lakers in the lead. And here is Bryant. Gets in close. Dort corrals the miss inside. Orlando trailing here. Passes back, but Trey kept alive. Too high. Guarded by Odom. In close. Rebounded by Odom. What more can he ask for? 
came up against very little defensive resistance, then boxed the layup, and Jordan gets it to go. Kobe Bryant is one of the game's top point makers, but it's not just all about scoring. He scores because his footwork complements his agility, and his savvy and smart are at the top of the charts. A different group set to go for the Lakers. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Here's Lewis. Hart defended by Bryant. From about 16, Odom snatches it inside. Oh, great stop. You know, when you attack a great defender, you got to come with something better than that. It's been unstoppable. What a strong start. And here is Johnson. 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Lewis. Nets it from the wing. He has five. Here are the Lakers with the ball. Nine-point game. Kobe rushes it with the one-handed jam. They're getting into a nice flow and rhythm. That's why they've got this lead. The handoff to Bass. Here's Johnson, knocks it down from 19 feet. I'll tell you what, Kevin, both teams have been on a tear. This could be a very high scoring game. Too easy, far too easy. And here comes Punch. From half court, shot is off. The Lakers with a comfortable margin. They've dominated the glass early on, and that's always a good sign. Rebounding is an effort stat, and they've shown tremendous effort so far. We're at the end of one, and it's already a double-digit lead. The score, 28 to 17. Welcome back. Second quarter action coming your way. The first quarter was a story of domination. Let's see if it will hold up here. Let's quickly go over to Cheryl Miller, who spoke with Coach Phil Jackson. Hey, Kev. He told me his point of emphasis was to keep his team aggressive on offense. He knows his team isn't going to get any easy baskets tonight against this defense and will have to be proactive when it comes to scoring points. Yeah, this defense is really giving teams headaches. We'll see if they can overcome it. So it's the Lakers now. 11-point game. Jams it home. He's got 22. And here is Johnson. Here's Petrus. Terrific swap. Got the stop thanks to the block by Oda. Powell didn't realize that he was on the line. Now turn it over. And it's Orlando's ball. Trailing by 13. From inside, Hunt snatches it down. And here comes Kobe Bryant. It's a 13-point game on the paint. Kevin, he doesn't miss those layups off. Interior D made him think about that one. To Barnes, fires the three, gets the bucket. His offense normally comes and goes, but he'll take that bucket. Bryant inside, a steal by the Mantle. To Barnes, that's loose for three. And here comes Kobe Bryant. Major points for him. Drops it in from beyond the arc. 25 points in the game. He's been stroking it from long range all game long. Actually, most of his points have come from beyond the arc. Oda sent that one fly. That's his second block so far. Inside, outside, Kevin. I love it. He threw the D in and then kicked it out to the open man. Here's Farmar, dunks it down with one hand. He's not the guy you would expect to compete in the dunk contest, but he can still throw it down when he needs to. Here's Howard, hits the jump hook. Nice bucket by the six-year veteran out of Southwest Atlanta Christian High School. Kobe on the wing, rebounded by Howard. Normally he sinks that shot. His mid-range game is excellent. He's 
just misfired that time. Here's Powell. Bryant yanks it down. Here's Powell. High post. Two fumble. Bryant jacks up the triple. That's good. 28 points for him. Clark, when they write the final chapter on Kobe Bryant, where will he rank in this game? Well, I think he'll be a Hall of Famer first ballot, no doubt. When you consider the guys that have come into the NBA right out of high school, he will be considered one of the forerunners to having successful careers as a guy who never played in college. Actually, he may go down when you consider him and LeBron James and some others. He very well Kevin could go. Garnett. Kevin Garnett. He could very well go down, maybe, as the highest scoring of that group of players that have come into the NBA. Most spectacular player, maybe, of his generation right now. You know, there's been Dominique, there's been Michael, but now in this generation. Yeah, maybe, maybe I think he was, he, he'd be right there. As a matter of fact, you could put him in a group of all time most dynamic and dominating players. Time will tell where, where those guys are going. Nelson on the mark with the triple. Six points for him. You look at them and what they're trying to do on offense, and, and I like it. I really do. I like the way they're using the entire court. They're spreading themselves out. And when you spread yourself out and make the extra pass, it gives you a chance to get good looks from behind the three-point line, and they're draining their chances. Los Angeles is just getting everything they want inside. Points in the paint have been the story so far, and I don't think it's going to change unless this team starts defending with physicality, bodying up without foul. Now Nelson. Six points for him. Left wing, here's Petrus. Cuts the score to single digits. When healthy, Michael Petrus can help any team in the league. Yeah, I love his energy. I like his defensive ability as well. He's a legitimate 6'5 or 6. Can shoot the three, runs the floor, gets after people defensively. I mean, you're right. Any team benefit from the attributes that he brings to the table. Here's Fisher. Hits the tray. He has five. Now Nelson. And here we go with Jameer Nelson. He just nails the bank shot. Beautiful, beautiful pass. Well executed there. Here's Odom. Oh, rips it down with both hands. Speed kills after every rebound or bucket. They're pushing it ahead down the floor. They're killing them on the break. Here's Nelson. Pops it in on the layup. He's shooting 50% from downtown. Walt connects from in close. Now Nelson. He's got eight. 38 seconds left in the second. Here's Petrus. Dumps it off. Here's Nelson. The three won't fall. They've really done a great job securing the rebounds, guys. They got the advantage right now, Clark. Plus five. Odom's shot. Good. And here we go with Jameer Nelson. Lewis trains it for three. Eight points for him. And like you were saying, having more rebounds helps in so many ways. Well, here with the lead, it's important that you eliminate second chance opportunities for your opponent and then get some of those yourself. The Lakers have been red hot offensively. Yeah, but we've still got two quarters to play. Anything can happen. And that concludes the first half. The score, 47 to 36. Now it's time for our T-Mobile halftime report. Well, let's check out the story of the stats. Lakers build a commanding lead. One look at their black shots tells you why. Yeah, these guys are fired up and are looking to send every shot to the cheap seat. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. Here. And he's been snapping that net, Kev. That's what you love to see. Bucket, bucket, and then more bucket. Welcome back to the start of the second half. You know, some of the fans at home are hoping for a comeback here. We'll see if that can happen as we start this quarter.
and here is Bryant. 28 points for him. Hangs. And here we go with Jameer Nelson. 11 point game. For three. Kept alive. Kick out. Lewis on the way. Off the mark from three. So it's the Lakers now. They've led by as many as 14 points. And it's Bryant missing. The Magic can trim it to single digits. Over Fisher. And Andrew Bynum pulls it down. And here's Los Angeles. They lead by 11. That's simply what a superstar does. He can make the most difficult plays look silky smooth. To Lewis. Tipped. Despite that turnover, they've been spectacular protecting the ball. But they need to improve in other areas. They're going to pull this one out. Let's quickly go over to Cheryl Miller, who spoke with Coach Phil Jackson. Hey, Carol. He said it could definitely be worse than having a nice lead. Going into the third quarter, getting out on the fast break has been working well for them. He said, you know, some teams talk about running, but a lot of guys don't have the condition. We've worked hard to get in top shape, and when it's game time, we're ready to work. Now back to our play-by-play -play analysis, Kev. Thank you, Cheryl. And as you mentioned, Buck, they haven't committed a lot of turnovers, but they're going to have to convert more if they want to win. Yeah, you're exactly right, Kevin. It's one thing to take care of the ball. That's, a, that's something you want to do and need to do, but then when you do get shots, you've got to put them in the basket. And it's the magic with the ball after the basket by the Lakers. Howard in the post, working on Gasol. The jump hook. Here's Bass. Gasol with the rebound. The Lakers controlling the game. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Here's Bryant. Hits the back iron, but gets the lucky bounce. He's got 32. He's really been the focus of their offensive game plan. And he's come through for his team as they've built this lead. Lewis stopped the run. And the rebound goes to Paul Gasol. You can simply tell, Kevin. I mean, they want the ball more right now. Our test tries to drop it in, but it won't go. Here comes Jameer Nelson. He's got eight. Lewis on the way. Over Odom. Scooped up. Takes a three. Nelson, no luck. In fact, sometimes it just comes down to who wants it more. It makes all the difference, Kevin. Tenacity, persistence, going after the ball. And that's what we're seeing here so far. And Bryant gets it to go. He can't be stopped. He's having a party out there. A challenging stretch here for Orlando. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Here's Lewis. Rebounded. Here's Carter. It's good. Nice offensive rebound. He's got seven. Nice. Big momentum builders, those second chance points. Oda. Misses the trade. Tries to keep it alive. And here comes Carter. Seven points in the game. And Nelson gets it to go. Here's Fisher. 17 point game. Here's Bryant, knocks down the open jumper. 37 points for him. He's put the team on his shoulders and really carried them offensively. An amazing performance by that man. To Howard, leads him with the pass. Here's Nelson, sticks it off the screen. Great pick there. The defender was stopped in his track, and it freed up the easy basket. Fisher, count the baseline J. Seven points in the game. Here comes Jameer Nelson. He's got 13. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Some changes there for the Lakers. Now Nelson. Get back into this game, Kevin. They need to really concentrate on limiting turnovers. I mean, it hasn't been terrible for them, but it's still hurting their cause.
Chris Carter answers right back with a dunk of his own. Nine points in the game so far. You're right, Clark. When you're down, you can't just give away opportunities like that. Well, the margin of error is much smaller when you're tearing and trying to come back. So everything is much more important. But turnovers always are self-destructive. Here's Carter. Answers right back with a three of his own. Classic case of one good three deserves another. Vujicic can't get the buzzer beater. We're at the end of the third, and it's a double-digit game. The score, 67 to 48. Kobe Bryant has played well. 37 points and three rebounds. Yeah, he's been filling it up, Kevin. No surprise there. He's a guy who can really do damage when he's in a groove. The fourth quarter about to get started here in what's been an entertaining game. Here we go, the start of the final quarter. We've seen a heck of a performance here, but there's always the chance of a comeback. Glad you stuck with us. Nelson, 13 points in the game. To Lewis. Carter. Off right iron. They're getting it done on the glass today, Kevin. Nice advantage here on the inside. To Walton. Shoots from 12, and that is good. Al Nelson. Lewis on the wing. Here's Bass. Blows the layup. The Lakers controlling the game. Here's Kujicic. No good from three-point land. And it's the Magic with the ball. Moments ago, our show, Miller had a chance to catch up with Stan Van Gundy, and now let's hear what he had to say. He has been getting many fast break points, and he's trying to amp them up and get them on. Guys? Thanks, Cheryl. Now, no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> impeccable timing on that alley-oop. They hooked up perfectly. Find him down low, working on Howard. From close range, the Lakers with the last touch. Sometimes you just don't connect. They can't dwell on it. They've got to move on and just D up and get it back. And here now the Magic, trailing by 19. Howard in the post, find him on it. The jump hook, deflected. Good team by Bynum. And here's Los Angeles. They have a 19 point lead. It's blocked. Carter flushes it with the one handed jam. My goodness gracious, Kevin, that's got to be the dunk of the night. No question about it. And the Lakers have possession. And Bryant gets it to go. Now Carter. 16 points for him. Coach Van Gundy calls a timeout. They're losing by 20. 239 after the fourth. Now Nelson. Left block. From just inside the arm. Too much mustard on that one. You gotta expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. And here comes Carter. The three kept alive. Here's Carter. Claims the open look. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. The Lakers controlling the game. Bynum, no good. 
was there to bother the shot. To Howard. Takes it up. Jams it in two-handed. The D was out of position there. And it only took a second for him to rise up and stuff that home. Whoa! Al Nelson. He's got 13. On D. Nelson, no luck. So it's the Lakers now. It's an 18-point game. And it's Bryant missing. Here comes Jameer Nelson. Here's Lewis. Knocks down the trifecta. He's shooting 37% from three-point range. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. And here comes Kobe Bryant. He has 40 from downtown. That's good. 43 points in the game. Now Nelson. And it's Orlando's ball. They trail by 18. He's done a great job, Clark, of controlling the ball. Boy, he sure has, Kevin. I mean, focus and quality ball handling. Very impressive. He really had a positive impact on his team with that kind of work. back with his own three. He's having a very poor half from long range. He can't find the net from there, and the defense knows it. And Bryant gets it to go. I think they've sealed this one. Not enough time left to mount a comeback. Less than a minute remaining now. Looks like this one's all but done, Kev. The dump off to Howard. Nelson. Now Carter over Bryant. And it's Carter missing. Oh, man. Shots like that will make a coach lose his head. And here comes Kobe Bryant. Solid double-digit lead. Looks like now they'll just coast to the finish line. Here comes Jameer Nelson. Here's Howard. Can't connect. The Lakers cruise to a win as they blow out the Magic, 87 to 61. For his solid performance, Kobe Bryant is our Jordan Brand Player of the Game. Yeah, Kevin, he was really stroking. He shot the lights out, and there was just no one out on the floor who could stop him. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Cheryl Miller, and me, Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports.